The Arch Gaming Network is proud to bring you this board game review. Now here's your host, Sean Smith. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to take a look at the card game Exploding Kittens, and it's designed by Matthew Inman, Elon Lee, and Shane Small. Exploding Kittens boasts as the number one most backed and most funded game in Kickstarter history. This is a card game where you are trying to be the sole survivor by either avoiding or diffusing these exploding kittens. It's an absolutely silly game, but it has high tension as you're, in effect, playing Russian roulette with every card that you take from the draw pile. But how does it play and is it any good? Let's take a look at the setup, the gameplay, and I'll give you my thoughts on the other side. Okay, to set up Exploding Kittens is very simple. You're gonna take the deck, and we're set up here for a three-player game, but you're gonna take the deck and remove all of the Exploding Kitten cards. In this case, there are four of them. You're then going to choose one Exploding Kitten um, for every player minus one. So in a three-player game, two Exploding Kittens, this ensures that all but one player will blow up. You're also going to remove all of the Diffuse cards. This is, these are what save you from blowing up. Uh, there are six of them, so you'll take all of those out. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the main deck and you're going to deal four cards to every player. Okay? And then you're also going to give them a Diffuse card. So each player will start with five cards four regular cards and a diffuse card. Then you're going to take the remaining diffuse cards and just randomly put them in the deck. And then you're going to take the exploding kitten cards and randomly put them in the deck. And then you're going to give them a really good shuffle. and place that deck in the center of the table. So on a player's turn, you have two actions that you can perform. And the first action is optional, and that is to play a card or cards. The second action to finish your turn is that you will draw from the deck. So what kind of cards are in the game? Well, the first type of card are just your common cards, and they have uh, like uh, a Cattermelon or Rainbow Ralphing Cat, Taco Cat, and uh, by themselves these don't perform any special action, but if you can create sets of them, uh, they can. So uh, that's uh, the, the normal variety. Then you have six special action cards. So you have Favor, which allows you to ask another player to give you one of their cards. There's the nope, which cancels the last player's action. See the future, which allows you to look at the um, next three cards uh, on top of the deck to see what's coming. Shuffle, then you, you can shuffle the deck if you play that card. Attack, so when you play this card, it uh, forces the next player to play two turns in a row and you don't have to draw a card at the end of your turn. Skip, so that means you can skip drawing a card at the end of your turn. So those are the special action cards. And then of course you have your diffuse cards and the exploding, exploding kitten cards as well. So let's say we're playing for this player. Here are the cards that we have. We have a nope, See the future, a shuffle, of course the diffuse that we started with, 
and then a beard cat, just a regular normal card. So on my turn, I can play one or more of these cards. It's my choice. And then when I'm done, uh, I have to draw a card. So, you know what? Um, I think I want to see the future. So I will play that here. And then I can look at the top three cards. I can't take them out of order. And, uh-oh, the very top card is an exploding kitten. That means that at the, when I'm done playing cards, I have to draw a card. Uh-oh, I would draw this card. Luckily, I mean, I have my Diffuse, but I don't want to use it this early in the game. But I also have Shuffle. So, I will play my Shuffle card, and then I can shuffle these cards up. And there's really nothing else I want to play, so now I must play and hope that an Exploding Kitten is not on top. Nope, it's a taco cat, and so I will add that to my hand, and now my turn is done. Then the next player will go, will play a card, or not, you can pass, but you must always draw at the end of the turn. So maybe uh, this player doesn't want to play any cards, draws uh, a card, see the future, gets to place it into his hand, and then the next player goes. The turns will go round and round, everyone playing and taking cards, until somebody draws an exploding kitten card. Oh no! Anyway, uh, when you draw an exploding kitten card, you're automatically out of the game, unless you have the coveted diffuse card. If you have a diffuse, you just play that there, and then now you can take this Exploding Kitten card and secretly place it anywhere in the deck, anywhere. You can choose secretly again. You can put it right on top. You can bury it in the middle. You can put it on the bottom. It's your choice of what you want to do. Okay, so there are some special rules to the cards that you can play as well to help you along during the game. So for example, let's say we've been playing and I've been amassing some cards, uh, but I no longer have a Diffuse card. Yikes. Well, I can do a couple of things on my turn. On my turn, I could, if I have two of a kind, two with the same symbol in the upper corner here, I can play these and ask a player to give me a card. They'll hold out their cards in front of you. You can't see them. And then you will pick one of the cards for them to give to you, okay? If you play three of a kind, you can ask a player, please give me your Diffuse card. If they have one, they have to give it to you. If they don't have one, then you're just out of luck. You could ask for an attack or a skip or a nope. It's up to you. You can ask for whatever you want. Another thing you can do is if you have five that have a different symbol, you can turn all five of these in and go through the discard deck and take the card you want. Ooh, I'm gonna take this one. So those are a few ways for you to be able to get a card that you need by playing sets or five different cards at the same time. Play will continue round and round until somebody draws an exploding kitten and can't defuse it. That player is out. You'll keep playing until there is only one player left and then that player is the winner. Okay, so like I said at the beginning, this is an absolutely silly game um, with wonderful artwork and it has a title that makes everyone say what in the world is that game but it is such a fun game the artwork is well done and it's silly and it's just fun to look at the various uh, cards that you have and look at the silly art that is on them but on top of that the game is uh, fluid and uh, 
It takes a little bit of time for people to get used to taking or drawing a card at the end of the turn instead of at the beginning of your turn like a lot of card games. But once you get used to that, the gameplay is pretty fluid. I like that take that mechanism, being able to kind of stick it to another player, hiding that uh, exploding kitten somewhere in the deck and they have no idea. They may think they know where it is, but they can't be for certain. So the instructions come with uh, rules for an advanced play, and that is, you know, the three of a kind or the five different cards. And I say just play with those rules. Just add them in uh, the first time you play because the rules are simple enough and it's not a big deal uh, to add those in. And I think it adds to the enjoyment. I wish there were little cheat sheets, though, that explained you know, if you turn in two of a kind or three of a kind or five of different cards, uh, because sometimes, you know, the new players uh, stumble on that for a little bit. It'd be nice to have little cheat sheets in there. So, um, but overall, it's such a great filler game. The tension is high and it adds so much excitement. It's easy to teach and it's quick to play. And there are a lot of laughs in this game. Uh, so for those reasons, I give Exploding Kittens a 9 out of 10. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to hit the like button below. And take a moment to subscribe. Once again, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for visiting the Arch Gaming Network. For more great content, check us out at archgamingnetwork.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook.